Hi there, just going to have a very quick overview of the new Blackboard Grader app which is for academic staff um, and it links into our Learn UCS system in the Grade Centre allowing you to annotate grade um, student submissions without the need for accessing a, a desktop computer so we can use uh, an iPad currently only available on Apple um, I believe it will be available for the Android market soon uh, so I'm going to open up the app, uh, there we go. Um, normally when you first access the app it would ask you to find your institution, so you just type in University Campus Suffolk and then it would ask you for your username and password and then you get brought to this screen. Up here I can click on this list to see all the modules that I'm a lecturer on uh, and you can select the module you want to go to and then loads the submissions of that. So in here we can see there's currently six um, assignments, six submission areas and then you can simply access um, one. So I'm going to go to the Safe Sign Test Assessment, and here we can see there's uh, four, sorry, five students on this module. Um, three have missing submissions, haven't submitted, and then the top two I can see have s submitted, but both submitted late. There's a little notification there, and I can see when they submitted, and then I can see that this preview account has been graded, and the green tick means that's been sent back to the central. Learn UCS kind of grade centre. So what I can do is I can actually slide to the side on that student and I can see, I can choose to send them an email, I can look at their risk profile, so if I click on their risk profile I can see what's going on, there's no alert for this student at the moment and I can have a communication history here so I can actually choose to add a note to this, uh, this risk communications history. Um, again I can add the note there or I can notify the student with an email I can simply close that. Uh, if I click to send an email, it will also give me the usual kind of email box to type a message into, click send, or I can cancel there. And if I slide this back, I can now choose to go and look at that student's submission. So I click on the, the user, and then it loads their submission similar to, as it would on a desktop computer with the inline grading tool. So here I can see the student's piece of work they've submitted, and I can scroll up and down, read that. I can zoom in and out with the plus and minus here, or I can jump to specific pages with the top there. But what I can now do on here, which is the same as the inline grading tool, I can choose to add some annotation to this. So. Um, I'm going to click there and so I've now chosen the animation the tool and I can choose to actually I'm going to drop that there and I can type in some comments and I can obviously keep typing as I do in the inline grading tool um, and I can okay so I've done that and I now can click over here and I can add more comments so if you're used to using the inline grading tool in Learn UCS on a desktop computer, this is very, very similar. I can scroll through the document and choose again where I want to comment. I can click to comment and more comments again. So I can work through the document and completely annotate that with feedback for the students. Okay, and then up the top right I've got the little symbol showing the grade and I can click on that and here I can choose to save this as a draft so I can come back later um, and then work on this again on the iPad. Um, I've got the additional feedback here that I can type if I wanted to as well as annotating the document obviously you can continue to sort of randomly type. Uh, I've got grading notes I can type in there uh, and these grading notes are only available to other lecturers or external examiners who come into the module. If I have an, uh, a rubrics associated with this assessment, I can access the rubrics, click on that icon, and here you can see scrolling up and down on the rubrics, I can choose actually, they were competent, for this is a, a basic rubrics, um, so I can choose they were, they were competent at, at that skill, I can type in additional comments, and I can come down and say actually for, for grammar uh, they were proficient, and then I can choose to add some comments in there. So if you are using rubrics, then you can still access them via this app. Okay, and what I can do, also a nice feature, if I click on audio, and I can actually uh, say retake some audio, hit record, and as I'm talking now, the iPad is recording this audio, so you can give audio feedback, and click stop, and say use the audio. So that piece of audio is just recorded is now associated with this student's submission. And similarly, I can do video. Uh, I can say video, take video, 
it will pop up with the normal video. It's using the front camera. I can flip that around and then you can see me on the camera recording this. And if I hit record, start talking, I can now give some video based feedback to the student. When that's finished, I click stop and it says, do you want to retake the video or can use it? I can choose use video. And that again, similar to the audio, is now associated with this student's submission. And then what we do is, because I'd use rubrics, it's actually built up the grade for me. But I can also choose to manually uh, add in a grade. And if you're using grading schemas, so kind of degree classifications at UCS, uh, between the, the sort of 12 point scheme, I can give this a grade of 10. And I'm gonna say send grade. And it just confirms, do, are we sure we want to do that? And say send. Sending now has submitted, as it says here, that's been sent back successfully to the Grade Centre. So when you're next logged on on a desktop computer, your, the Grade Centre would have the feedback, the annotations, audio and video would all be in the Grade Centre ready for that column to be released back to the students. So a really quick overview of the app. Uh, it's a first kind of iteration of the Blackboard app, but it, it does some really good stuff and it's very uh, sort of clean and easy to use. And, that advantage you aren't sat in front of a desktop computer um, for long periods you can actually t obviously take a, a tablet to wherever you're sitting and, and continue to work on that thanks very much